comes the awkward moment where I will set up everything. Check. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. The and Afri, please. Yeah. All right. This looks good. Um, yeah. So first of all, welcome to East Berlin. We are so 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 happy to have you all. Um, I think there's a clicker as well. It's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, three years no East Berlin. Long time no see. We are so 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 happy that you are all here today with us. Uh, we cannot believe it but we made it happen and of course thanks to our amazing team which you will get to know throughout uh, this weekend and uh, some of them will also be presenting as part of this opening ceremony. But yeah, before I start with anything content, uh, big up to both our absolutely amazing team who do all of this in their free time. East Berlin is completely organized by a decentralized collective, that means we are a non-profit, nobody earns anything by organizing this, so big shout out to our team. And then secondly, also big shout out to our sponsors because without them we would literally have zero euros to organize this entire event. So thank you for believing in us and supporting us. I want to start with our kind of indirect tagline, which we didn't really wish for, but it kind of came up and we found it quite funny. So yeah, East Berlin, only a hackathon. Um, the world, of course, as Gillard also pointed out already in his moderation, changed in the last three years. Uh, the last East Berlin 2019, I think, was in a time where it was still considered normal that ETH city events are actually hackathons. So yes, East Berlin is only a hackathon. Um, it's amazing to see so many cool new conferences, uh, hackathons, workshops, uh, unconferences, uh, weekly formats or whatever uh, that are also being called ETH city name. But yes, ETH Berlin is first and foremost a hackathon and uh, this is like this for a reason. Um, if you want to learn more about like what our mission and vision is, I really, really uh, recommend you all reading our manifesto. I guess at least 70% or so of you read it already because there were some questions in our hacker application. But um, basically, this is an event where we really want to focus on building useful things. Uh, we really want to remind you to kind of go back to... Uh, the initial vision, go back to the roots, really remember why we are into this in the first place, being why, why blockchain, why censorship resistance, why do we need a distribution of power, why do we need decentralization, right? So we're not here to do bullshit bingo or, I don't know, bring the next fruit farming, yield farming token to the moon, but we actually want to build something useful here and I am very sure that Many of you will do so, and I cannot wait to see the hackathon projects that come out of this uh, on Sunday. Um, yeah, so please make a difference. And also talking about only a hackathon, well, you may have been at East Berlin 1 or East Berlin 2, so we let you be the judge of this. Uh, of course, it's not only a hackathon. We really try to make this a super holistic and amazing experience for you all. We love to use the word extravaganza and if this is your first time here, you will find out what that means throughout the course of this weekend. But yeah, as uh, you've already experienced, we have a couple of super cool talks lined up for you. Some of them already happened um, as basically the preheating before the opening ceremony. So big shout out to all the talks and speakers that were already here on stage before us. Thank you so much. Um, but we will also have another round of amazing talks coming up on Sunday, uh, including a fireside chat with Chelsea Manning and Jaya Clara Brecke from them. So we are super excited. We will have Alec Empire from Atari Teenage Riot. We will have Jared Hope from Status. Uh, so many amazing speakers, please do check out the program. And lastly, we also have an entire night tonight full of tech workshops to learn more about the stuff that you can hack on, actually. Um, so yeah, there will be a big extravaganza and Helena will also tell us a little bit more about it later, what this entails. But I'm handing over to Afri. Thank you. House rules. <laughs> 
So we all like rules, so I'm uh, going to give you a quick overview how this event works um, so by starting with the house rules. Um, you all, so there are some of you who sneaked in, I know, but most of you have a woven wristband like this one in black or in yellow, and this one is uh, your only way to access the, the venue. And the badge is just informational. You can use it to show off your name or your project, but the actual, um, the actual important item is the wristband on your wrist. Uh, don't lose it. And yes, so um, many of you might not have been to East Berlin or to any hackathon before. You will have to understand this venue is open 24 hours and you are encouraged to stay here. We will have food four times a day, including a midnight snack. So please use this time to be creative. We will cover for the rest. Um, officially, it's not encouraged to sleep here. So it's not, it's, not a, it's not a hostel, but if you really need to take a nap, we have, um, we have relaxation rooms, we have the cinema with really comfy couches. Um, if there is no crazy documentary going on, it might be even good, uh, a good spot to sleep there. <laughs> um, yeah, as I said, food and drinks provided. Please check our amazing website. Shout out to Khan for our website. Where is he? Woo, Khan! Oh, yeah, it's, <laughs> <laughs> um, really, if you have any questions, check out our website and specifically the program will um, give you the exact times of all the, the, the dinner, the midnight snack, breakfast, lunch and so on. Um, yes, but as I said, it's provided. Um, last but not least, we have a code of conduct. Um, usually we don't have to act upon it, but please read it, um, understand it and um, respect it. So yeah. Okay, handing over to me again. Uh, also, I wanted to apologize for these slides and any mistakes that are on them because I literally made them like half an hour before this opening ceremony. Um, but yeah, I think a little bit of chaos and improvisation can't hurt a hackathon. So this is our hackathon project opening ceremony. <laughs> um, let's talk a little bit about hacker essentials. Uh, there's a couple of things that I would recommend you all, no matter whether you are a hacker, mentor, judge, or uh, any other participant of uh, this event to do. First and foremost, please join the Matrix space because this is our communication platform throughout the weekend. Uh, no, there is no Telegram, no, there is no Discord, and uh, I don't uh, know what Matrix is or I don't have a client yet. Yes, this is exactly why we want this, because basically uh, what we try to achieve with this is not only having an amazing event, but also basically encouraging people to use open source software, encouraging people to use software where you really know what is happening to your data or whether you really know whether it's encrypted and who holds your encryption keys and all this kind of stuff. So please really think about this when using tools. Um, and yeah, if you have never ma used Matrix before, that's not an issue at all. There's always a first time. I can recommend downloading the Element client, which is uh, the client that is also built by the Matrix team. It works on iOS, uh, Android, uh, desktop. Um, but there's also a pretty cool Berlin team building a client as well. It's called uh, Fluffy Chat. I can recommend that for mobile. It really feels like uh, a signal or like a, a normal chat app rather than this fully-fledged uh, client that one can use on the desktop. Yeah, secondly, um, if you have not found a team yet, then check out both the Find a Team channel on the Matrix space, and also check out the Find the Team repo on GitHub. Um, it's in the ETH Berlin organization under Find a Team, and people post issues there, either if they are looking for a team member or for a team. And there is also a team finding session for everybody who is interested in meeting um, at 7 p.m. So basically directly after this opening ceremony moderated by the wonderful Gillard. So please come for that if you uh, did not find a team yet. And I think Afri already touched on the program. Please do check it out. Yes, please check it out. Um, also, if, this, if we are too fast here, and I mean it's a lot of links we are putting on these slides, you have it on the back of your name badge. We, we really put a lot of effort into like putting everything on there. So if you get lost and you cannot find our website, which, which has all of our information, um, it's also on the back of your name badge. 
Oh yeah, you like rules. Um, so, <laughs> uh, more rules. Specifically for those of you that are going to hack, and I know that are a lot that uh, raised interest to hack here, um, you need to know the following rules in case you want to submit your project for, um, for judging and for uh, a prize. The rules um, are, you must be at East Berlin, so we do not allow remote hackers. Um, all code can only be written during the event, and during the event means after this opening ceremony. We did see some people already getting started in some code bases, so please sure consider starting over again, because you don't want to be disqualified. Afri knows what this feels like. If anybody remembers Girly Testnet and too many people in one team. Yes, I do. Yes, so um, fix your timestamp to after 7 p.m. today. <laughs> um, you are hackers after all, right? Um, don't use any other team's source code. That means anyone else using, uh, hacking here. Otherwise, it will be difficult to draw the line between different projects. Um, judge. Decision. It's a typo <laughs> there, sorry. Judge decisions are final. There will be no discussion. Um, respect the code of conduct. If you haven't read it yet, please do now. And comply with all instructions from the East Berlin organizers. That is Franzi, me, Elena, and uh, many more. We, have, uh, we are using uh, Devfolio this year for submissions. So uh, if, you're not, if you don't have an account yet, you should create one during this weekend. Devfolio is um, a hackathon, end-to-end -end hackathon platform uh, created by the East India team, which is amazing. And we are really happy that we can use it. It's a, the link is eastberlin.devfolio.co. Big shout out for them to uh, making it basically according to our needs, adjusting it and supporting us with this. Yes, because... We, we, have, we had some special requests because uh, East Berlin, we, 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 this year we wanted to try out some custom things and uh, they had to go an extra mile to make this happen. <laughs> so yes, yeah, thank you Dev for you. And last but not least, submission deadline is 11 a.m. on Sunday. So yes, please be aware of that. Yeah, moving on to this year's tracks and prizes. I'm sure many of you have checked this out already, maybe on our website before coming here, and you already know exactly what you want to hack, but I still want to kind of summarize everything that we have um, on the table this year. So on the one hand, we have the open track, Berlin's favorite. Um, that's a 10K prize, and all projects are eligible. For, so for this one, you don't really have to think about anything. You don't have to tag the project. You don't have to uh, follow um, any requirements, except for the rules, of course. Um, yeah, so that one is basically open for all submissions. And then we have specific track awards and meta awards. The track awards um, are 7K for each winner. There's always only one winner per track and per meta award. There's no second, third, fourth, fifth, and so on. Um, the first category in the track awards is infrastructure, uh, providing distributed public goods. Uh, we have another track that is even the odds, empowering the underprivileged freedom to transact, financial independence from institutions and counter surveillance, security and privacy enhancing projects. If you want to have more details on what these different tracks could be about, check out the Hacker Manual on the website because we added some topics, subtopics there and some ideas there. And generally, I think you can also find ideas or inspirations in our manifesto that go in this direction. And then we have the Meta Awards, uh, six, 6K each for uh, each winner of the category. We have, on the one hand, um, an award for best design, secondly, best cryptography, and thirdly, best smart contracts. And all of those can apply to any category. And you will also be asked during your Defolio submission form to basically check the boxes when you think you wrote absolutely fantastic smart contracts, then please check the box best smart contracts. If you think you went all out of your way to make a super amazing user experience and design, please do check this box because we have special judges who will then have a look at your submission according to the meta uh, category. 
Oh, for mentoring, um, I asked Kirill to come on stage, uh, who is helping us with mentoring efforts. And oh, he has a little assistant. Yeah, hey, my name is uh, Kirill, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and I'm coordinating mentors uh, in, on this venue, and uh, there are also Anna and Kaspar who are doing the same in the same role. Uh, it is important for you all to know the space is huge. You're not supposed to know everything at once. Every year we assemble here for F Berlin. It's more and more complicated to build a decent project and not hit some roadblocks you don't know what to do with. Call for mentors. It's okay. It's not a nuclear option of last resort. It's something you should routinely be doing if you see the problem. There is a help queue, uh, ask.fberlin.oo. Uh, I think you all should have this URL from some of the emails you received. Please register there and ask your friendly mentors. And there are mentors for all the different tracks already registered there. There are people who can help you with solidity, but there are also people who can help you with mechanism designs. And I think that is like not mechanical design, right? And there are UX people and people who can help you with funding. So. Whatever you feel you're struggling with, immediately go to the uh, askifberlin.oo and you will get this help and I'm here to ensure that this is true. And for those of you who volunteering as mentors, first of all, huge thank you. We are going to have a tiny orientation after this, like 15 minutes after the opening ceremony will stop, we will meet at the third floor at the hallway where the community kitchen is. Uh, it is a little bit tricky to get there, like not all the staircases will get you to the right floor immediately. So Casper will call and rally you right after the ceremony will stop and you can uh, be accompanied and get to the place in no time. Yeah, and the last thing, this is Aika and as you can see she is pretty relaxed dog. She is here for petting. And I know how emotions are really overflowing you, especially like, you know, the last night before the deadline and so on. Feel free to approach, feel free to pet her and feel maybe a little bit calmer as well. You're welcome. Thank you, Kirill. Awesome. Oh yeah, and as a last note, mentors, uh, you can identify them hopefully by their yellow t-shirts, which all mentors should collect at the swag station. Um, and if they don't wear a yellow t-shirt, they also all receive like a mentor button. It's a black button with yellow, um, with yellow letters that say mentor on him. Next up, judging with Jacob. Give Jacob a big round of applause. Hi, judging with Jacob. That sounds, that sounds nice. Okay, yeah, so as Franzi mentioned, mentioned a bit earlier, um, we have some different categories. The one open track is basically one where everyone can vote, and we will do uh, quadratic voting for this. Maybe it's a new concept for some of you, but on Sunday there will be a presentation uh, from the project that built this, and they will tell you all about how it works. Um, you will also have a small note in your uh, name tag that uh, explains the process. And you can go to mintfberlin.oo slash 2022 now uh, and mint an NFT that gives you the right to vote. Um, and you should use your Ether card for doing this. And then we have the track awards that Franzi mentioned. That will just be traditional judging. And this will take place on Sunday as well between 12 and 3. Um, so, yeah, you'll be assigned a, uh, a group of judges and you'll go there and give a brief uh, presentation of your project. I think we put aside three minutes per per yeah per per, per session, so it should be plenty of time. But uh, yeah, three minutes to prepare. Um, then we have the meta awards that will be digital. So as Franz mentioned, just put in in the uh, folio what you're very proud of. Maybe even a comment like say we wrote this super cool function in Solidity. Please check it out. I think it's amazing. Um, that would be nice, and that would help the judges a lot to find the specific things you're you're proud of. Um, and to check out who who's judging, go to Eth Berlin or contributors and see who you need to suck up to in the next two days. That's all for me. Thank you. Thank you. Um, in case it wasn't clear, you have all received an ESA card, which is whitelisted for minting this uh, uh, NFT for... And in case you don't know what an Ether card is, because <laughs> this is pretty retro, we actually also at this point, huge shout out 
to the former EtherCards team, which is now called Galaxis, because they made this for us and they don't really produce those cards anymore because uh, sadly enough, there's no business in producing plastic cards that are just with a QR code to uh, a wallet. Um, but they made this for us because we really love those cards. We think they are amazing and basically um, there's a scratch off on it. So on the left hand, you have the public key. Uh, you also have the address, uh, the public key under here written. And then there's a scratch off field under which you have the seed phrase. And so that card will get you through the hackathon both in voting terms and there are also some other tokens on there that can be helpful. I think Afri was Santa Claus when setting up these wallets. <laughs> there are, in fact, Gurley and Sepolia ESA, so if you need to deploy anything on testnets, please feel free to use this. And we all know Gurley is the right and best testnet, correct? <laughs> <laughs> We even specifically requested a girly beer only for this event, which is outside in the tents. Uh, it's actually a Radler, so a mix between lemonade and beer, and it's called after our beloved girly test stand. Um, fact, uh, check your facts here, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Who was there first, the chicken or the egg? Okay, next up, uh, I ask Helena on the stage, who will put the extra in extravaganza? Well, hello. Okay, so as we mentioned, we're not just a hackathon. We do like to give our hackers some experiences. Um, and as you can see here as well, all you need to do is go to the full program on our website, toggle the thing to the extravaganza side, and you'll get a list of all the extra stuff that's going on that's outside the hacking. So just to give you a quick overview, on the fifth floor, you'll probably find most of the experiences. We have a cinema room, which will have some kind of lo-fi beats for people to relax. And we also have a full cinema schedule tomorrow night as well from 5 p.m. And outside the cinema, we have the Cinnabar, which is run by Infura. So expect some mocktails tomorrow. <clears throat> Sorry, I've done a lot of shouting today. <laughs> um, okay, and then on the fifth floor, we also have an art show uh, by our very own art DOD squad. MP and Stina are back, of course. Um, and their exhibition is about the Merkel route Berlin. Um, so yeah, head up to the fifth floor and you can go check it out. That's opening today after this. Um, also on the fifth floor, we have the Zen Den by Joy Space. So we have some Reiki massages and all that jazz going on tomorrow. They'll also be doing yoga and breath work. And then there will also be a mind spa by Rauciousness in the same room as well. So head up there to find out a bit more about that. Um, and then Social Distortion Protocol, which you might remember did the escape room, um, The Spy Who Staked Me back in 2019. Um, <clears throat> they are back with their new one, No Time to Die. So if you want to try and participate in that tomorrow, you need to go to the third floor and look for Alice. That's all I'm going to say. Um, and there'll be some other stuff going on, like chess. Um, and we're going to have DJs throughout the weekend as well for some entertainment. And that takes me over to the next slide. And the next slide. So obviously we couldn't have you guys hacking the whole weekend without throwing you a little party at the end. So please join us at Watergate from 9 p.m. on Sunday after everything's finished here. Uh, we've got a secret lead lineup. We've got some DJs. Um, we've got two rooms. There'll be some free drinks. So please get there as early as you can if you want to take advantage of that. You may have also noticed that you got given a yellow wristband for the after party when you registered. Do not lose that, that is your entry. And if you know you can't make it, please feel free to give it to some friends. Um, so yeah, that's it from me. Thank you. Okay, um, thank you, Helena. Um, Coming to our sponsors that um, at least financially made this event possible because we started, we, did we start at zero or did we start in debt? I this think year we was started at minus something. Started in debt this year. It was a bit not difficult good. after the, the, the years of pandemic. Um, but um, thanks, thanks to our sponsors, we are standing here today and uh, we have this amazing venue and um, we have this amazing opportunity. Um, Sponsors will start posting their sponsor bounties in addition to our uh, hackathon uh, uh, awards. They will start posting them on GitHub. 
uh, at the sponsors bounty repository. Please check it out. Um, as I said, it's on the back of your uh, badge. And also, um, we will allow them to come on stage now, one by one. I will call you out and just give a quick pitch on your project, on your bounties. And um, yes, the stage is yours now. Who is first? Dune Analytics. Dune, come on. Hi everyone, my name is Belle and I represent the visit relations team at Dune, uh, previously known as Dune Analytics. So we are the leading community-backed crypto data analytics platform. I'm sure most of you will be familiar with us. Um, and we aim to make crypto data accessible to everyone. So I'm sure you know our API has been the most you know, frequently requested feature for really long. And the good news is that we actually launched it yesterday at DuneCon. Ooh, yeah. So um, even better news, everyone here will have your first hands on the API. Um, and I would like to officially announce that we have sponsored five times 1,000 euro bounties uh, for the best five teams that use the API. We will be looking for projects that successfully integrated the API. Um, and also projects that are useful and epic, pretty simple. So um, we are looking forward to seeing your projects. Um, and in order to request for the API key, simply email api at dune.com um, with your Dune registered email address or username. We also do have a Dune booth right there. So if you have any questions, feel free to come up to us. We are pretty friendly, I would say. Uh, slightly tired, but pretty friendly, so we'll be happy to answer any questions. But if not, feel free to also check out our Discord channel. We do have a dedicated Dune API channel right there, and we'll be happy to help. So with that, LFG, everyone. Thank you. Awesome. Next up, we have Wallet Connect. Anybody here from Wallet Connect who wants to speak on the bounties? <laughs> If not, I can uh, maybe buy some time. Wallet Connect, please come up. Okay. Pedro, somebody. <laughs> if not, check out their booth. It's also on the ground floor next to the restaurant, just around the corner. Okay, we can some maybe give a, a one more second because I think one thing that might be helpful for any of the sponsor bounties is, um, as I've mentioned, they all post the, their bounty in the GitHub. And you might be thinking, okay, so how do I basically submit my project to a specific bounty? Well, first of all, hopefully many of them have already outlined that in the issue where they have specified the bounty. But I think many of them will go with our recommended setup, which is basically asking you to submit your submission to the specific bounty by putting your link to the defolio into this issue as a comment. I think that is the the way to go, and uh, you can't really go wrong with this. And I see Pedro, yay! Yay! <laughs> Big applause! <laughs> Wallet Connect! Thank you, and I'm really sorry for making you waiting. <laughs> but I'm really glad to see this event again, because if Berlin has been always in my heart as like one of the best hackathons, and even though we had gone through the quarantine and everything, I'm glad that we're all here again and the magic is still there. Like, Ethereum magic is here and if Berlin knows how to capture it. And I'm really glad that this year I'm not just hacking, but I'm sponsoring and I'm able to have every one of you here and share what Wallet Connect has been building. And we also have bounties available. So if you are building with Wallet Connect, please show us. Uh, we will be judging projects that use both V1 and V2. So if you have the Wallet Connect V1, you have a separate track, V2 has a separate track. And then the first price for each track is 1,000, the second is 500, and then 250. And then we have an extra pool of money for honorable mentions because we want to support everyone that uses Wallet Connect. And thank you so much for organizing this. You guys done an amazing job, and I'm glad to be sponsoring and making sure that you guys hack away and build and build them, build energy. 
Thank you, Pedro. Manta Network. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, everyone. All right. Well, thank you for the clap. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, uh, awesome to be here, standing on the shoulders of giants. We've got, you know, Dune Analytics, the leader in uh, analytics uh, for Web3. We've got Wallet Connect, the leader in connecting wallets for Web3. And we've got Manta Network, uh, the leader in privacy. That's why you may have not heard about us. That's because we're doing our job right. Um, so my name's Kenny. I'm one of the co-founders of Poseidon Labs. And we specifically work on deploying ZK technology onto different protocols. So Manta Network is what we're going to be deploying most recently within the Polkadot ecosystem. We have Calamari Network in the Kusama ecosystem. And also, we're going to be deploying an ETH L2. And this is what's going to be really cool for all you guys, uh, because we're abstracting away all the ZKP complexity. And we're boiling it down into SDKs that you can use to deploy directly as functions in your smart contracts. So now you can deploy whatever application you want, put in a few lines of code, and bam, your application is private and EVM compatible. Hopefully, that made sense. <laughs> Thank you. That's all I wanted. Um, but uh, more importantly, uh, we've got a bounty today. Uh, total is $5,000 uh, split amongst three prizes. Uh, we're keeping this pretty vague because I think that everyone here has a strong passion for privacy, right? Um, and so we've got three prizes. The first one, first prize is going to be $2,500. Second prize is going to be uh, $1,500. And third prize is going to be $1,000. And um, so hack away at any use case in privacy. We're specifically looking for unique, fun use cases uh, and with a, with a focus on user experience. So make it as simple and as easy to use and uh, privacy enabled. Thanks. Thank you. Next up, we have Obo. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Oshin, and I'm a co-founder at Obo Labs, and we're building distributed validator technology. Distributed validator technology is the open source software you need to make a normal Ethereum validator run across multiple machines by multiple people. Um, as part of this, we have two bounties, and the first one involves our workshop that's on at 8.45 tonight uh, up in the Creators Lab. We'll be attempting to make the biggest distributed validator we've done to date. And then uh, the next one we'll be doing is we have Teku and Lighthouse consensus and validator clients working. But for all of the other validator clients and consensus clients, you can support and run uh, and attest with the validator on Gurley. We'll get you eligible for our second 500 euro bounty. And you can hear more about it up at our table on the second floor. Look for the big green neon signs that say Obal. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. ZK Sync. Anyone? Yes, I see somebody approaching. Gillard can do this better than us. Uh, hey, uh, I will keep it very short. ZK, ZK Sync for ZK VM compatible chain. Um, ZK Rollup. Um, yeah, thank you. Happy hunting. Thanks, that was quick. The first one to really keep our requirement of one minute max. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> okay. Uh, next protocol. Next protocol? Lens. 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 The next one is Lens. And somebody is approaching. All right. Thank you, guys. Um, my name is Anis. I'm, uh, part of the, I'm an engineer, the part that brought you the Lens API and the Lens protocol. Uh, for those who don't know, I hope you guys do already, but uh, we're trying to build a decentralized and composable social graph for you guys to build amazing social experiences on Web3 uh, and the future of social media. Uh, for now, for, for this hackathon, uh, first of all, I want to say I'm really excited to be at ETH Berlin. This is my first time here. I'm super excited, loving the energy. Um, I'm also going to be doing a, a workshop in like a couple of hours, so make sure to check that out. 
Um, now on to the bounties. We'll be doing, uh, we'll be giving 100 euros to uh, 10 projects. The 10 best projects that come up with like the most unique, the most privacy preserving, the most engaging, inclusive, solar punk, cypher punk, you name it, experiences uh, on top of Lens. So you can either integrate with, our, integrate with our API or build your own collect, follow, or reference modules and uh, get on our radar. Uh, thanks again. Uh, really excited to be here. Thank you. And next up, we have Fuel. Do we have Fuel? Applause. I'll stand over here. Hi, everybody. My name is Camila Ramos. I'm a developer relations engineer over at Fuel, and I'm going to give you the super fast TLDR and then talk about our bounty. So Fuel is the fastest modular execution layer, bringing scalability to Ethereum. And real quick, what is scalability? Scalability is defined as throughput divided by decentralization. What is decentralization? There's a lot of different ideas on what decentralization is, but really what it is is the cost for a user to run a full node to be able to validate the chain themselves. And um, it feels different because we have a different, more scalable execution model than the EVM. We use the UTXO model, which allows us to be efficient for fraud proofs. And uh, we have a booth on the second floor where we, I can tell you a lot more about this and kind of how this lends itself to being more scalable and do parallel transaction execution and have different trust assumptions that make it so that users can validate the chain themselves through trust minimized light clients, have higher node requirements, and still have user sovereignty. Um, we have one bounty for 1,000 euros for the most innovative project built on fuel. Our testnet just went live a few days ago, and we have a developer quick start to get you started, and we also have a booth on the second floor where you can come talk to any of the engineers and get started building on fuel. Thank you very much. And our very own East Berlin Hackathon project now sponsor applause for Pinata. Pinata. Hey everybody, uh, my name is Matt. I'm one of the co-founders of Pinata, and like he mentioned, we actually launched out of the first ETH Berlin. So Pinata is a Web3 media hub. We're built on top of IPFS. If you don't know what that is, uh, basically if you're storing a lot of large files as part of your project, you're probably going to need it. So uh, come check us out. We do have a bounty. It's thousand dollars. The criteria is pretty simple. It uses pinata, and we like it. So, uh, yeah, good luck, hackers. Come up. We're on the second floor, or first floor for the Europeans. And uh, we got shirts, stickers. Come say hi. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. It blows my mind that uh, a former hackathon project and winner is now our sponsor. It's uh, really giving me a feeling of being proud and happy. OK. So with that, we are wrapping up uh, the sponsor bounties. And uh, a couple of sponsors have mentioned it already, but I want to repeat um, all of the ones that you've seen here on stage right now. They all have a booth somewhere. Uh, the bigger sponsors are on the ground floor, right here at the exit of Alexis. And um, the Tayo 1 sponsors are on floor 1 and 2 for Europeans. <laughs> and 2 and 3 for Americans? Well, uh, you can check it out. Um, we have floor plans everywhere. We have a venue map on the website. Um, and yeah, if you are hacker enough, to, you might have already found out that you can actually use the um, letters to go to the respective um, page, sub pages on our website. So if you want to go to the venue, you just click the V. Um, last but not least, yeah. Any questions? I don't think we will answer any questions here today. Because uh, all the answers are in the menu. Right? Because we hopefully <laughs> answered them all already. Um, but basically, there's a hacker help desk on every floor, any floor. Except uh, for the fourth. Except for the fourth, but the fourth floor is also basically uh, not included in East Berlin. So please do not use the fourth floor. There should be the X signs, no X signs everywhere. But in case you're wondering, the, first, the fourth floor is rented out to other companies and we do not use it. Um, on any other floor, you will find a hacker help desk in the big staircase, in the main staircase, with um, volunteers being there almost around the clock, being able to help you with almost anything. Um, but of course, also read the fine manual. We have 
the hacker manual, which basically included almost everything we presented here today. And uh, we would be surprised if you would still have questions after reading this. So without further ado, the hacking starts now. Oh. <laughs> have fun.